In this video, I am going to explain different exercises that are included in the course called Vagdeva Amrutam designed by me. Dear parents, bear with the lengthy video and try to understand what and all it contains. In this Vagdeva Amrutam, first we are going to introduce yoga music in which we need to resonate with the each swara frequency. Students will listen to the note that I am going to play with the keyboard by closing their eyes for a cycle and sing along with me for the next cycle of Talam. The same we repeat for few more notes in that same class. This definitely helps to go through the further exercises and concentration improves and all credits to our yoga system. Especially in this exercise, exhale the note with the frequency that I am going to play with the keyboard. This is how it goes. For example, if I say pa. pa. By closing the eyes, we need to listen to it and for a cycle of talam and then the student need to repeat after the keyboard. In the second exercise, we are going to tap the talam with the both the hands along with the akara ukara Ikara sadhana of Arohana and Avarohana of a particular raga for the day, which improves the lung capacity and the right and left hand coordinations, not only the hands coordination, in fact left brain and right brain coordination will definitely improve. Here it is. The second exercise. Uh... Next to practice, what we do is the Swara exercise. With the keyboard, I am going to sing the set of prefixed Swara exercise of a particular Raga we chose for that day and let them sing and repeat after me. Few days later, the students will be asked to create their own Swara pattern and ask them to put it on the paper and sing. This will definitely improve their aesthetic sense and pronunciation. The swara exercise will be like this. These are the examples of 
the swara exercise we can do n number of exercises by following a particular pattern and definitely the students will try to do the swara exercise on their own and it creates interest in the music for them the fourth one is the virtual visualization of swaras by plotting the steps of ascending and descending order of the sapta swaras at the beginning of the course students will be asked to draw a particular chart here you can see in the picture in a class we take 3 to 4 swaras and we all together will try to sing different phrases by taking permutations and combinations of the three or four swaras for example with the three notes sa ri ga let us see the permutations and combinations with these three notes and try to phrase them like this sari ga ri sa sari ri ga ga ri sa sa ga ri ga ri sa sa ga ri ga ri ga ri sa ri sa sari ga ri sa sari ri ga ga ri sa sa ga ri sa sa ga ri ga ri sa this exercise definitely improves the creativity of the students and the notes the sapta swaras frequencies will be established in the subconscious mind of the students in the fifth exercise few cycles to few cycles by changing the tempo and by changing the speed of a particular lesson will definitely improves the presence of mind of the students and they can tune to any kind of situation even in their life i can say the exercise here we go sa ri ga ma 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 now i changed the speed let us see how it will be by changing the tempo sa ri ga ma sa ri ga ma sa ri ga ma and even after few cycles we can change the shruti also so that we can say uh, so that we can see whether they can sing in different shruti or not and by changing the shruti if we sing then then definitely uh, it trains our voice now let me explain the change in shruti now see now i increased the shruti of the shruti box and i am going to sing in shruti sa ri ga ma 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 did you observe the difference yes definitely students will also observe the difference over a period of time and they will adjust their shruti accordingly the last two exercises need some experience for those who already started the learning the carnatic music at least from 6 months to 1 year can cope up with this type of exercises in this exercise we use different talas from the sapta tala and different gati for the same lesson where the mathematical calculations are required let us see how it is if we consider the tisra jati rupaka talam sa ri ga ma pa there are total five letters now i am going to take 
द खंड जाति एकतालम Each time when I say the talam name and jati name, the students need to change their talam procedure for the same lesson. Clearly, mathematical calculations are required for this. Finally, we end with the. जाति विरपूल एक्ससईज इन विच थ्री लैटर फ्रेजस् फाइव लैटर फ्रेजस् और सेवन लैटर फ्रेजस् ई कैन से ऑड नंबर ऑफ लैटर्स फ्रेजस् विल स्प्लीट इन टू ईवन नंबर लैटर फ्रेजस् पर् पर् बीट एंड सिमिलरली वी कैन टेक ईवन नंबर ऑफ लैटर फ्रेजस् टू स्प्लीट इन टू ऑड letters per beat for example i am going to take a three letter phrase that is takita and i am going to split it into two letters per beat like this takita takita suppose if i split the phrases into four letters per beat takita 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 definitely this type of exercises require analytical skills and by practicing these kind of exercises analytical skills of the students will definitely improve the first two exercises can fit to any age group of students especially students of 5 to 7 years age will definitely be benefited all the swaras and their frequencies will definitely fix into their mind and they can do wonders the last four practices can be done by any one above 7 years with the final note i am going to end the session I am not a gifted Carnatic musician. I started learning from my thirty. I worked as a IIT faculty for chemistry for eight years after my post graduation. My qualification is M.Sc. Organic Chemistry, B.A. in Carnatic Music, and I finished my Bachelor of Education too. With passion, I completed the degree in Carnatic Music. with the blessings of god and teachings of my guru shri maroj om prakash garu by listening to the teachings of great gurus i started thinking how this divine music will carve not only the gifted singers but everyone created by the almighty music not only for singing it is memory upgrader synchronizing with improving concentration that is the motto of this program and that's all i can say hope i can reach i can reach to many and many younger young ones will be benefited by the course thank you thank you one and all